Hi everyone, welcome back to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we will discuss the problem of the day. Add two numbers which are represented with the help of linked list. So this problem has been asked previously in companies like Flipkart and Microsoft. So let us understand the problem statement and how we can implement this particular problem. So the problem says we'll be given two decimal numbers, num1 and num2, and the numbers will be represented in the form of a linked list. The, the first linked list size would be n, the second linked list size would be m. So for example, if you have a number 190, so if suppose that we had 190, so 190 will be represented as how? 190 will be represented that uh, as first of all the node 1, then 9, then 0 and then after that we will have this as null, okay. Then after this we will have the next node as null here, okay. Then suppose that if we had what? If we had something like 25, so 25 will be represented as what? First of all the node 2 will be there, then next node will be 5 and then after that null. Now when you will add the numbers up, so what will happen? If you will see, suppose you added 190 and then 25. So the answer will be 225 here, correct, uh, sorry, 215. The answer will be 215 basically. But how can we achieve this particular answer 215? That is what we need to understand. So whenever we are adding the numbers, right, whenever we are adding the numbers, so we always add the rightmost digit. So initially we will try to do what? We will try to add the digits, that is this particular digit, okay then we'll get the result as 5 here, okay. Then after that we'll try to add the digits 9 and 2, so we'll get the answer as 1 and then 1 will go in carry. So you can observe here that we want to add the digits in the reverse order because the very first digit that I can access in 190 is 1, but I want to access the last digit that is 0, okay. So I need to reverse the linked list. Once I will reverse the linked list, what is going to happen is, suppose if I had 1, then 9 and 0 and another linked list was 2 and 5. Now if I reverse both the linked list, so it will become easier for me because I will always be adding from the right side, okay. So then you will have 5 and then 2 and then this will be null. Then after that you can see that we will have uh, 0, then 9 and then we will have 1 and then this node will be pointing to null here, okay. Now after this what will happen here is, let's say if we are initially uh, taking the sum, so 5 plus 0 will be how much, 5 plus 0 the node answer like will be 5. Because the sum will be 5, will there be any carry? No, there will be no carry. Then after this, uh, what we will do is, initially our answer was null, so we will update it with the node as 5. Then we will move on to the next node of both the linked list. So now we will be at 2 and 9. Now the sum is how much? The sum will be nothing but 12 here. Uh, sorry, the sum will be 11. Now, now if the sum is 11, how much will be the carry? The carry will be the sum divided by 10, that will be 1 basically. So I will get 1 as the carry, in the carry variable my value will become what? 1. And then after that, my digit will be how much? My digit that I want to place here will be nothing but the sum modulo 10, that is the last digit. So then I will get the digit as 1 here. Now, once I have made this new node uh, 1 here, so now this new nodes next will should be pointing to 5 because I want once next to point to 5 and then after that my answer should be pointing to this particular node. Then after this next time my uh, node is null, so its value would be 0. Then correspondingly in the second linked list I have got 1 and then my carry is 1. So the sum will be 0 plus 1 plus 1 that will be 2. So I'll make this new node 2 and its next will be pointing to 1 and then after that my answer will be pointing to this particular node. Okay. So you can clearly see here how things have uh, worked and then after that what will happen is I'll end up exhausting the first as well as the second linked list. So when I ended up exhausting both of them then uh, I'll get nothing and you can see that in my answer linked list we are having 2 then after that we are having 1 and then we are having 5 and this is what we have as the answer. Right. So this is uh, what we are doing here. Basically the idea is that first of all you will reverse the original linked list because you need to add the digits from the right side one by one. So you will reverse the linked list and then after that you will add it. Okay. And after adding it, uh, your answer will get developed. But one more circumstance is that suppose that after you have iterated both the linked list, if your carry is still greater than zero, then you need to add an extra additional node. Also one of the circumstances that we need to consider is when my sum value, uh, like when my first link list is existing but the second link list is null. So if my second link list is null or you can say that if my second link list does not exist. So if my second link list does not exist so only the first number is there then I will directly return it or suppose that uh, what happens is if the second link list is not existing and only the first one exists. So if the only the first number exists so I will directly return it. Okay. Now let's try and implement our code here uh, to just quickly check things up if our logic is fine or not. So what we will do here is, first of all, I was uh, like, uh, first of all, I'll take care of the edge cases. So let me remove these comments from here. Okay. Now what we will do here is, first of all, we'll check. We'll check that if the 
num1 is equal equal to null so suppose if the first link list is null then we'll directly return the num2 here okay otherwise uh, suppose that if the second link list is what null then what we will do is we'll simply return the first link list here okay now once this part is done like once i have covered the base cases then i also will be writing a function for reversing my link list so i'll write static uh, let's say node and then we'll write reverse here this function will allow me to reverse the link list so i'll pass the head node here okay and well, while i'm passing the head node so what i will uh, do here is i will say that node let's say current will be initially pointing to the head node of the link list then after that we'll say that node uh, let's say previous node initially will be null so let us discuss how the reverse logic would work if i uh, can do so in quick time so let's say if i had a number let's say 1 4 and then 5 and then after that we had null okay so what i uh, will be having here is initially my current node will be pointing here and my previous will be here every time you can observe that my current node should always point to the previous node because i want to reverse the order so in, initially my previous should be marked as what null because there is no previous node so my current if it starts pointing if, if the current next start pointing to previous then the then the access to the rest of the link list will be lost and since since i don't want to do that so before the current's next point to the previous will store the next node so the next node is this then current's next will point to previous so once next will start pointing to previous so now one will start pointing to null okay then after this what will happen my previous will move by one cell so what will happen is now my previous will uh, point to the current okay and the current will point to the next cell okay now once this is done right once this part is done so you can see that disconnectivity is lost now my current is standing here now uh, before my current next start pointing to previous before my four starts pointing to one i want to uh, get the access of the rest of the link list so that is why in the next node i'll store five okay that is the current next and then my current next will start pointing to four here okay then this connectivity is lost and you can say that what will happen my previous will start pointing to current and current will start pointing to the next node then after this what will happen here is once this part is over then uh, uh, my next will be this particular node and my current uh, next will start pointing to previous so five will five will start pointing to four and then this connectivity between five and null is lost now after this next time what will happen next time i'll ask my previous to move to the current so previous will be pointing to five and current will point to null so you can see that when my current starts pointing to null so my reversal process is over because now i have got the link list as what one then you can see four five the arrows are like this and you have the previous here and then once next is null here right so i hope that you are very much uh, clear with uh, this particular reversal because you can see that now earlier the head node was null now the head node is five so the link list has got reversed so let us quickly implement the reversal logic and then we'll implement the rest of the logic as well so what i've done here is i have basically marked my uh, previous initially as null and then after that what i will do is i'll say that while the current is not equal to null till that point of time will iterate and then we'll say that node next will be what uh, let's say current dot next once i have got this then we will do what we will say that currents next should be pointing to the previous node okay and then after this previous will be pointing to the current and current will be pointing to the next node here okay and then after this we always need to return the head of the new link list so we'll return the previous node here because uh, after reversal we want to return the head of the new reverse link list okay so once we have these uh, pointers so what we will do is uh, we'll declare pointer one let's say which will be point, which will be pointing to the reversed uh, link list one and pointer two which will be uh, pointing to the reverse link list two okay so we'll write uh, node here and then we'll write reverse and then what we'll write is we'll write num one here okay then after this what we'll write here is we'll write node ptr2 is equal to what is equal to reverse num2 okay now uh, let's write as a, it as num2 okay then after this what we need here is we need the sum and we need the carry as well so initially i'll say that my carry would be how much my carry would be nothing but zero and initially i'll declare a node answer initially as null okay uh, basically this node is uh, going to be the answer node is going to be the head of the link list now after this what i will uh, do here is once this part is over so i'll say that while the pointer one is not equal to null okay pointer one is not equal to null let's say or the pointer two is not equal to null okay or the pointer two is not equal to null so if any of the link list is not null then what we will do is initially we'll have the value one as zero value one will be the value one uh, will be the digit from the first link list 
and value 2 will contain the digit of the second linked list okay initially i'm marking them as zero because if uh, the corresponding digits does not exist in the first or the second linked list so the value should be zero okay now i'll check that if the pointer 1 uh, is not equal to null so if it is not null then i will do what then i'll update my value 1 as what i'll update it with uh, ptr one's uh, data whatever data the pointer 1 has i'll update it with that okay and similarly what i will do is i'll check that if the ptr2 is not equal to null so if it is not null then i will do what then i'll update my value 2 to uh, is, is equal to uh, pointer 2 dot data okay now once this is done so i'll get the sum so what will be the sum here the sum will be nothing but the first digit from the number one then uh, the second digit and then whatever was the carry okay now after that my carry will be how much for the next time my carry will be nothing but the sum divided by 10 and if i'm talking about the digit so let's say int digit will be nothing but you can say sum modulo with 10 because i want to get the last digit of the sum okay then after this once i have this so i'll make the uh, node uh, let's say n okay or let's say tt is equal to new node and what i will pass is i'll pass this digit here and then after that i'll check if my answer suppose is initially null okay then i'll say that this is the very first node so my answer should be updated to this temporary node okay otherwise uh, if it is already if the answer already has some nodes then what i need to do is i need to write tt dot next is equal to answer as i have discussed in the dry run and then answer is equal to tt back again okay so this is how i'll be updating the connectivity and then after this what i will check is i'll check that if the pointer one if it is not equal to null okay so if it is not null then what i will do is i'll write pointer one is equal to pointer one dot next so i'll move it to the next node okay similarly i'll check that if the pointer two if it is not equal to null so if it is not null then i'll ask it to move forward so pointer two is equal to what pointer two dot next so this is how we can move both the pointers as per our requirement and now once this part is done so after coming out of the while loop i will check that if there is any carry or not so if the carry part uh, suppose if it is greater than zero so yeah, if we are having a certain carry then we need to make that new node okay so we can say that the uh, node will be what node uh, let's say uh, let's say node then after that uh, let's say we'll have the node let's say tt is equal to new and then node and this particular carry now what i will do here is if suppose that my answer is initially null okay so if i don't have anything uh, right now so i'll directly return this uh, particular tt node because it is the only uh, node that i've got okay otherwise uh, if my linked list already exists then i'll write what i'll write uh, tt the new node next is equal to this answer and then i'll update my answer to this particular new node here okay so this is how i'm updating it now after updating this particular part so i will check for the starting zeros if in my answer if 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 the answer that i have generated if it has got certain starting zeros then i will remove them okay so for that what i can do is i can declare node start temp uh, which will which can be initially equal to the answer okay then after this what i will do here is i'll write that while the temporary node is not equal to null uh, till that point of time i'll iterate and at the same time what i will do is i'll say that temp uh, data okay if it's equal to zero then in that case what we need to do is we need to keep on proceeding further so we'll write temp is equal to nothing but temp dot next here okay now once this part is over then what we will do is if the if the temp node itself becomes null suppose that if itself becomes null then in that case uh, uh, we will simply return the new node as zero because the sum will be zero okay otherwise if the link list exists so after removing the trailing zeros after removing the starting zeros whatever is the link list so i'll return that so that is why i'll return temp here okay now let's try and uh, run this code on the samples to check if it is working fine or not so it is currently evaluating so answer is equal equal to tt i have written somewhere so i should correct that point yes so now let's try and compile it again to check if there is any other mistake so it does work fine on the samples let us submit this code to check if it is getting accepted or not so you can clearly see that our code was able to pass all the test cases that are there in this problem and i hope that you have understood it clearly in case if you have any doubts you can mention them in the comments and thank you for watching this video